Welcome everyone and thank you so much for clicking on this video. In this video we're going to be talking about NFTs. Yes, it is true. Alibaba is doing something with NFTs. And in this video I'm going to explain exactly what they do and what I think of that. So here we have it, Alibaba's latest NFT launch features non-tradable badges celebrating four Winter Olympic sports. It's quite interesting to see actually because of course Alibaba is not known for this at all. Uh, frankly, it's more something that I expect Tencent to do, you know. Uh, but Alibaba is actually, you know, joining the NFT space. And uh, of course, this is very, very interesting. And so, of course, they are, you know, it's a special thing, right? It's not a new business that they are going to start up, I think. Uh, but um, yeah, they are basically combining this Winter Olympics event with the creation of NFTs, which is, of course, quite interesting. So let's take a look. Now, once again, it's very interesting because they, they, they feature the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. Uh, and so that's that's why they created these a a NFTs. Now, I actually have pictures of the NFT, so we'll be going into that uh, a little bit further in the video. But it's actually interesting because it's actually these businesses, okay, Timo, of course, very popular. These businesses that Alibaba owns, right? They are creating this NFT. So it's a bit, one of the businesses that Alibaba owns is creating these NFTs. Now, of course, this is somewhat of a trend in business life right now, okay? You see Walmart, you see other big businesses entering the NFT space or uh, the metaverse, you know, or crypto even. So it is quite popular to, to engage in these uh, projects that are, well, let's say very, very modern and most certainly without any success yet. All right, even though they are popular, what I'm trying to say is the long term, we have not a clue what they are going to mean to us. OK, now crypto, I'm very skeptical about. I think virtually all crypto will go to zero. Uh, but I, I think NFTs is a little bit different because it is some some work of art. Right. So uh, it would not surprise me if in 50 years this is still a big thing for some reason uh, right now. Uh, yeah, it's, it's nothing that I'm into or something, but it wouldn't surprise me uh, that much. And by the way, that also goes for the use of cryptocurrency. I do believe we will eventually be going to a digital currency of a sort. I just don't believe that Bitcoin and Ethereum are great investments. Just to clear that re up real quick, okay? Not to uh, not to make any confusion. That is what I think about that. Uh, and I can perhaps make a video about that later on. But right now we're talking about the NFTs. And so it is kind of right now popular to join this space. Uh, and I know quite a lot of people are excited about this, especially in the metaverse, of course. Uh, now, Tencent is quite huge in this, okay? So, uh, of course, one of the big rivals of Alibaba, Tencent is quite big in this, especially in the metaverse, uh, because, of course, Tencent has done so many investments in so many businesses, and Tencent likes to invest in businesses that don't do very well yet, but are poised to do well. Okay, that sounds very general and like something everyone would want. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is they are perfectly happy to invest in businesses that lose a lot of money uh, just because they think in five to 10 years they'll be doing fantastic, you know. And that is, for example, something I would never do. If you don't book a profit, you know, um, or perhaps you're losing very little money, then it might be okay. But I don't like businesses that for every buck they get, they lose five bucks, okay. Tencent is a little bit more lenient in that regard. And so far, they have been doing that with great success, okay. It's just a different in, difference in investing style. One is probably not better than the other. Uh, depends on the person that is executing the strategy too, I guess. For beginners, I would always say, look at profits, okay. Always look at the numbers. Uh, but for Tencent, it's a little bit different. And nonetheless, so it, it is nothing new, okay. It, in some way, it really surprises me because NFTs, you know, <laughs> is quite interesting, especially for a big business like Alibaba to engage in that. Uh, on the other hand, you know, uh, it is also in line with trend and more importantly, it's actually a great opportunity for these businesses, right? They thought, okay, the, uh, the, the Olympics are coming, NFTs are popular, let's just combine it and do something crazy. Now, as we can see, they have around 8.8k copies, each of them, okay? So they're in total are like 32k of badges, a little bit more, but that's basically what it is. And very important to bear in mind, it is nothing commercial, okay? As we can see right here, 16 cents. Uh, yeah, basically, this is nothing, nothing special. It is just some sort of promotion because these are available to f uh, paid members, actually. Okay, which look, this is actually very interesting. I just wanted to mention this. You actually see the ecosystem of Alibaba emerging already. Okay, because now they are selling with their e-commerce business, right? But they are using the subscription models to to farm out that that you know that that, that profit or that extra. 
thing they can do for their customers. It's not really profit, of course, uh, don't get me wrong, because they will get a couple of bucks from it. Uh, nothing, of course. But uh, what I'm trying to say is they are using different businesses they own, Alibaba Group, okay? They combine them into one powerful ecosystem. And this is an example of that. Uh, and of course, the first NFT, you know, sold very, very quickly, which doesn't surprise me one bit. Now, one thing, uh, China, of course, bans cryptocurrencies. Okay, so it's it's very, very interesting. Uh, they banned cryptocurrencies, uh, but these are digital collectibles, uh, which is, of course, true. There is, uh, you know, a great difference between cryptocurrencies and NFTs. Uh, nonetheless, as we can see here, you know, Tencent JD, they are also wild about this. Uh, but what is quite important to bear in mind is that actually China is not happy about the cryptos, uh, which I personally completely agree with. Once again, uh, I'm really not that big of a, a crypto fan, as you probably know. So, uh, you know, I, I can't blame them for that decision. Nonetheless, these things are different. So what I'm trying to say is eventually it might actually become a problem because NFTs and cryptos, they're definitely not the same, but they are not that far, uh, you know, that far away from each other. So who knows? Now, let's take a look at the artworks, okay? So these are the badges. As you can see right here, it looks quite great. Of course, you see some people skiing here, you know, dancing uh, or ice skating, you know. It looks very, very good, I think. And, uh, of course, this is great, you know. It is just for, for premium members, you know. It is just a video I wanted to make to show you that they are into NFTs, you know, uh, which is on one hand great because it shows, of course, that they are really willing to go with the flow, go with the trend, you know, and really look at what's popular. That is just always a good thing to do. Uh, but I, I also kind of kind of found it kind of funny, right? I mean, uh, Alibaba, this big e-commerce giant, you know, making uh, four artworks for their, for their customers. Now, as we can see there, not the first one, we have Tencent here with JD here, and of course, Baidu too. Uh, now, just to sum this all up, right? Uh, I think NFTs, you know, uh, I already gave my explanation about it. It's, it's a little bit tough for me, you know, because I really don't like crypto all that much. Uh, not necessarily crypto itself, but an investment in crypto, you know. Um, and uh, NFTs, you know, is somewhat related to that. Not really. Uh, I like NFTs for that for that matter more, but uh, it is still somewhat in that space, you know, and of course, it is highly likely that in 10 years, you know, NFTs are just gone, right? Because let's be honest, these are usually trends that just come and go, you know, uh, it might be the next thing, who knows? But uh, for now, what I will say is, uh, it is actually very interesting that Alibaba and Tencent and Baidu are, you know, close to the trend. I think that's always a good sign. Uh, and of course, it is quite, quite nice that they made some great artworks for their loyal customers. So on the whole, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy with this. It's a funny video to make. Uh, what I will say is that I don't believe that Alibaba has any real plans to, to enter this market. Okay. Uh, what I do believe is that Tencent probably will and Baidu uh, too. All right. Because Baidu and Tencent are both businesses that definitely like to experiment with unprofitable businesses and with the next big thing. All right. So the metaverse, Tencent and Baidu, you know, like to, to engage in that. Uh, Alibaba and JD, of course, are a little bit different in that. Uh, Alibaba and, and JD is more infrastructure businesses, right? Logistics, e-commerce, and stuff like that. So it, it's not very logical for them to to go into uh, NFTs. But yeah, they also went into, cl into the cloud, you know. Uh, so eventually, if NFTs are here to stay, it is actually good that they, that they at least have some knowledge about NFTs, how things work, you know. It might show some potential. Uh, what I, I just like it, okay, because it shows that they are going with the trend. That is very important to me, that they know what plays among their customers. Uh, once again, it's nothing big. Right. I mean, they just sell a couple of bucks of NFTs. That's basically it. Uh, but once again, I like the gesture that they actually care about what the customers think. Uh, I think it's always very healthy to see. It is not revolutionary. Once again, Tencent, Baidu, JD are also in this space. Uh, but I do, be I do believe it is important because, of course, when businesses die, it is usually because they could not adapt to the next thing. So I'm happy to see that they are at least dynamic. So let me know in the comments what you think about this NFT thing. All right. Do you think that this this is the worst thing ever? And also tell me your opinion about the artworks. Do you like the artworks and would you buy it? So that was all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.